Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about what happened this morning in Minneapolis. As you guys know, I'm in Minnesota right now, um, spending time with the family before I go back to LA. What happened is that early this morning it was reported that five people were shot on the north side. Um, as you guys know, they've been protesting this whole Black Lives Matter. Um, justice for Jamar. He was a young man who was shot and killed by the police. Witnesses are saying that he was handcuffed when he was killed. Um, so they've been out there protesting ever since this went down a few days ago. So they're saying that there were some guys there, they're white supremacists, and they were like in ski masks. And so they're saying that when they were asked to leave the premises, basically they pulled out guns and they shot five people. Now, none of these five people died. Um, they all have non-life-threatening injuries. They were all rushed to the hospital. So it's causing just, you know, a lot of drama and chaos up here. A lot of folks are tired of the whole Black Lives Matter um, situation with them being up at the fourth precinct um, and all the controversy that they're supposedly causing. Other people are saying that, you know, we're peaceful protesters. We're here for Jamar. And you guys are, you know, basically lumping us in with the people who are agitators and stuff like that. So it's just a bunch of drama that's going on out here. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Five people were shot last night about a block away from where Black Lives Matter is protesting at the 4th Precinct. Now, police tell us all five victims are being treated for non life threatening injuries. Police are still looking for suspects, though. Police are definitely investigating this shooting. They say uh, they have interviewed a number of witnesses and they are still working on identifying the suspects. Now, this shooting happened just a block north, right? here from the 4th Precinct. Uh, this shooting happened near 1400 Morgan Avenue. Police say it happened around uh, 1040 p.m. The Associated Press reports two victims were shot in the leg. Another victim was shot in the arm and a fourth victim was shot in the stomach. Police say all five victims suffered non-life threatening injuries. Three were taken to North Memorial Medical Center. The other two were transported by ambulance to HCMC. Our cameras captured the aftermath, uh, the hours right after the shooting. The president of the Minneapolis NAACP, Nakima Levy Pounds, who has been a leader of the protest since day one, led the group of protesters in a prayer. Let's listen in. I want to see God use this situation for good, and I want a, a perimeter of protection around those who are willing to keep coming out. All right? So let, I, I'm not going to answer any reporter's questions right now because we need to pray. For real. This is serious for us. Emotions clearly running high, and there's some serious accusations over who these shooters are. Uh, Black Lives Matter organizers claim the protesters were shot by white supremacists. According to a post on the group's official Facebook page, the group claims the shooters were initially hanging out by the 4th Precinct. They were asked to leave, and they were followed out by protesters. That's when the group claims the shooting then began. MPD's public information officer, John Elder, would not confirm the claim that the shooters Shooters were white. Now, MPD has additional officers in the area to make sure that these protesters are safe, and they're all also working on identifying these suspects. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. You know, hopefully they'll be able to solve this. I mean, my thing is this. It went down at a police precinct. So, I mean, where's the videotapes? And they need to look at the videotapes and figure out who did the shootings. You know what I'm saying? Where these guys ran? Were there vehicles? Were there any license plates? You know, somebody had to see something because there were so many people out there. And like I said, especially with the police being out there and, and for them to be that comfortable to go near a police precinct and start shooting people who are there rallying for Black Lives Matter, you know, it almost makes me feel like, you know, is there more people involved in this than meets the eye? So the whole situation is just really, really sad. Hopefully something will come of all of this. Hopefully, you know, justice will prevail. If this young man was shot and he was handcuffed, then whoever killed him, they definitely need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. You know, but the sad part is because of all the drama and everything that's going on with Black Lives Matter across the country, you know, a lot of people are taking a stance where they're just irritated. They don't care about the situation anymore because so many people using Black Lives Matter as a way to just cause chaos. So hopefully this situation will get solved. Hopefully it'll get resolved. Hopefully the five people who got shot will end up being okay and coming out the hospital very shortly. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation that went down in North Minneapolis last night. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.